So the sediment traps built around the pea lakes are obviously for that purpose, to trap sediment before it goes into a very special ecological area. They're essentially kind of snake shaped, they slither through the environment, different depths to trap different sediment as it moves through the profile. So then it all ends up in a trap before it reaches a lake. These are a series of ponds that have a, a number of different functions. Um, often the first one will be a fairly large one and relatively deep that will slow the water down and it will enable uh, the silt that's being transported in the water to drop down. That will then move into another series of ponds, sometimes a lot shallower. We will have plants and that will absorb a lot of the nitrogen out of the water. Uh, they also provide habitat for birds, places for us to plant threatened plants. What the snake pattern does in the different depths, it allows sediment to drop out, uh, slows the water right down and um, allows settling of that sediment. So it just hits the bottom, a nice easy place for us to dig it out. The sinuous shape is uh, really to mimic nature, just like a stream would. It um, meanders and as it meanders more and more, it takes out more velocity, uh, allowing sediment to drop out. Certain areas are, are built to trap more sediment so you can dig them out and um, spread them around back onto land. In the soil there's um, generally a lot of phosphorus. This can then be used over a period of time as it builds up to be extracted and used back on the farm. They are man-made objects obviously with a, with a purpose for water quality but they're actually uh, done in a very aesthetically pleasing manner um, and for a series of ponds as well that do give a lot of the flora and fauna, uh, other habitat and other places, safe places to live and breed. Another great part of the silt traps is that through making the ponds we'll be also creating walkways. Uh, we'll be using culverts so that people can walk over those wetter areas and that the water can move between the channels. So this actually lets us get, let people come into our wetlands, um, experience them, uh, get to see what we're doing and uh, learn and appreciate them more. And it's not just about function, it's about blending and being part of the environment as well.